here to confirm that New York will be home to one of Amazon's new headquarters and more than 25,000 new high paying jobs over the coming decade with room to grow. I'd like. Well, you know who isn't cheering? Newly elected Democrat Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Slamming the tax breaks, Amazon's getting in a series of tweets. Democrat strategist Robin Byrle thinks she's right to be a little skeptical of this deal, while market watcher Melissa Armo thinks this is a great deal, period. Melissa, why? Well, first of all, I live in New York, and this will provide more revenue for the city. The city needs money coming in so badly. Mayor de Blasio has spent so much money since he's been mayor in the city, and we need tax revenue coming in. It also will provide jobs. And I have to laugh, Charles. She thinks that people are going to get pushed out of Queens that are regular people, working people, because all of a sudden all these high-end people are going to buy luxury condos, and all these luxury condos are going to come up in Queens. That is so laughable, Charles. People will live in Manhattan that make a lot of money and they will commute to their jobs in Queens. It doesn't mean all the people that work and live in Queens are going to lose their homes. That's crazy town. Robin? It's so easy to dismiss uh, this congresswoman-elect because she's the youngest ever to be elected to Congress at, I believe, 29 years old. Uh, and I've been a frequent critic of hers, but she brings up, some, brings up some valid points. This does put a drain on the local municipalities. Let me explain why. These tax cuts are enshrined for 50, sometimes 15 to 20 years, uh, and they present a huge impact to the local infrastructure. That's specifically what she's talking about. You've seen large-scale developments of subdivisions and big boxes where they just absolutely destroy the roads uh, and they often don't pay for those with environmental impact fees and develop development impact fees and yet they're getting tax breaks so she's right to criticize it but when you look at it from a cost of benefit analysis in the long term it does pay off but I get where she's coming from Charles you know Melissa there are neighborhoods in New York that I never thought would be quote-unquote gentrified where I never thought you know a brownstone that may have been a hundred grand not even a hundred grand in 1980 would be going for $10 million now. So people feel like they do get pushed out eventually. And we know in the journal today saying that there was almost a 300% explosion in inquiries for condos in that Queens area. So uh, ultimately, if, if people start to, who make 150 grand start to buy homes there, could that do something with respect to income inequality? Could it push out people who've lived there? And by the way, $1.5 billion, that's a lot of money. And it could, it could haunt uh, someone politically at some point. All you have to do is look at the economy right now in Seattle, where Amazon has its headquarters, and look at how much that's helped that city. I mean, seriously, it's going to help New York. It's going to help Virginia. That's where the other second headquarters is. And, and they were all ecstatic about it down there. Bloomberg is for this. Mayor de Blasio is for this. Governor Cuomo is for this. They're all Democrats, and they're for it. And I'm telling you, it's good for New York. I hear what you're saying about, about the, uh, sometimes there will be people that come in, and but the property values might rise a little bit. But it's never going to be so much that the that the negatives overweigh the positives. It is good for New York. It is it, huge for New York City. I'm telling you, I live here, and I'm telling you right now, people are not going to get pushed out of their homes. People that own real estate right now in Queens are jumping up and down because Rob, their real estate is going to increase. All right, uh, Robin, uh, do you find it interesting, though, there are a lot of conservative groups who have actually come out against this deal. They, you know, they love the idea that maybe Amazon would uh, build in New York. But the $1.5 billion uh, tax credits, the $300 million cash credits, uh, you know, they think this could be a form of corporate uh, welfare. Yes, and that's my concern as well. And, you know, in some respects, she almost sounded like a Republican here because she's talking specifically about, about well, the tax burden. libertarian, probably. <laughs> well, libertarian, you're <laughs> correct in that. Uh, but she's talking about the tax burden. And it's a little unfair to some of the, the adjacent property owners who are paying basically to subsidize all of these development impact fees that are going to be incurred because of this immense large-scale development. Yeah. So and what we're seeing basically are just growing pains. They'll experience growing pains. They won't reap the financial benefits for at least five years. Uh, but look at what it's done for Nikki Haley when she was governor of South Carolina with Boeing and BMW. She right. got a lot of, course, of heat flip, for those corporate tax The flip side of that, subsidies. of course, is some people think Scott Walker was hurt uh, a little bit politically because of Foxconn. Hey, thank you both very much. Great yep. seeing you. Well, we've got growing too, concerns Charles. over President Trump's shakeup at the Justice Department, and we'll discuss that next.